Hi there. Why do I have this composition book out? No, I'm not going to start another journal. Well, maybe a journal of a sort. I am doing a shout out to Linda Lapatka. And she does all the arcades. Is 300 plus by now. I can't keep up with her. But I bought this little box of little Peggy Girolodex cards. You can see I haven't opened them yet. So let's do that right now, courtesy of Linda. We'll just pull one out here. Oh, they're pretty thin. I want to pull out two. I need mine a little thicker. I'll glue these together. Ooh, I need another one. These are too thin, Linda. <laughs> okay, I'll glue these together offline. But looking for these this morning. I bought these, oh, maybe a month or so ago. I thought I would follow along. But I've gotten into my letter journals and and uh, 365 Art a Day project and, and so many art journals that uh, I just decided not to do the daily ARCAD. I decided that was just one thing too many, but I want to do one for Linda. And I looked all over for these this morning. And I don't know if you watched my studio tour or not, but I have five shopping bags of items that I just kind of toss things into when I buy it. And I dumped all of those out on my living room floor this morning and started sorting them out and I'm going to record them what I have in this composition book so that's what this is for and Linda this is courtesy of, of you starting this ARCAD project so let's see I've got three of these that I'm going to have to glue together huh, let's see what shall I use here is drying I discovered that I didn't use a lot of this stuff so I'm going to make some more arcades maybe I'll make two or three and see which one I like the best
Okay, I'm back. And I found a piece of ribbon. But I think this just adds a lot of color to it without detracting from the stitching on there. So I like that. I found some keys and locks. I'm sure this was a Michaels purchase. Probably out of their dollar bin. And I have some of this Tim Holtz ephemera pack. And it looks like there's some vellum pieces in there. So I'm gonna, I've never opened this. So I'm going to see what's inside it. Let's see if there's something I can use. Oh, looky here. A dress form. How cool is that? She needs, she needs something behind her, though. dress form drying. This is a vellum piece I got out of Tim Holtz ephemera pack. And I put some glossy accents on it. While it's drying, I'm going to do some fine liner around the edges of this card. While I was waiting for my things to dry here, I went ahead and I had all these scraps up in here. And I went ahead and glued them on some arcades. And then I took some of this gold speedball block printing ink. There's the screen printing ink and the block printing ink. The block printing ink is not quite as iridescent as this green printing ink. I like to use this for backgrounds and that is what I did on all of these little scrap arcades that I put together while I was waiting for everything to dry. Then I took my fine liner and I like to do the stained glass shapes around here. Live a simple but beautiful life. I like that sticker. And I think I'm going to put that right in there. In fact, I think I'll start doing this right now.
everything seems pretty dry on here. I put a little pearl in the flower up on her hat, but I don't like how this sticks out by itself. So I found this little vellum postcard that came in that Tim Holtz ephemera pack. And I am going to put that on the back, just like this. And that will sort of stabilize it. finished my arcades. This is my first ever arcad in honor of Linda Lepatka. And I was going to send this one to her, but I made my second ever arcad and I like it a lot better. And so I'm going to send this one to her. It kind of extends out beyond the arcad, but I wanted something to stabilize this dress form. And it's got a little flower there and a key and a key. And I use some of that needlework pattern can out of my stained glass book. And I covered it with my gold screen printing ink. And I have a ribbon back there. And I have scraps on the back. I have this postcard on the this vellum postcard on the back. And some more of that needle point canvas print out of my stained glass book and a silhouette stamp and some alphabets off of a speedball directions off of my speedball dip pen and nibs so Linda this is coming to you And then this one I'm going to keep for myself. This is an old dangly earring. And I threaded a little ribbon through the top of it. And then just glued it down with glossy accents. These were some scrap ones that I made from scraps on my table. And you can't see all the scraps under there, but I glued up. There's all sorts of scrap papers and linen and and uh, all sorts of papers on here and i think i'm going to use these as backgrounds if i ever do an, do do an arcade i might just do a total gold one everything I do with the backgrounds will be gold that's what i'm thinking for right now so there we go